Hey everybody, it's Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you from my craft room to do the first video in a short series um, called Crafting with COVID. Um, so for those of you who haven't seen on our Facebook page, I tested positive for COVID last week and I've been stuck in the house going insane and I decided I'm not going to binge watch TV anymore. I'm just going to go and craft. So... For those of you who don't know what's happening, um, I've been very lucky. And again, I tested positive last week and I've been lucky in the fact that I have very mild symptoms. I've got headaches, congestion, and just kind of feel tired. Uh, but life goes on for me and I figured I would just, hey, make some fun videos, showing you guys some other projects y'all can do other than tumblers. Because if you're like me, and you go to the store like Target or, you know, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or any of your local stores, and you see those random like, ooh, that'd be a really fun project to do, and you never do them. Well, I do that all the time. Um, and then I never actually do the projects. And then they end up getting stored up in the attic. And so finally I'm doing them and I figured, hey, why not share them with you guys? Because I made a thing yesterday and I sent it to Sarah and Keely at work and I was like, hey, what do you think of this? And they're like, oh, you should do a video. And I was like, cool, crafting with COVID. And they're like, yeah, you are, do that. Sorry guys. Um, so here's what we're doing is fun little series on me doing random projects and showing you guys how to do different things other than tumblers. So today's video, we're going to be making a beach charcuterie board like this. Um, I bought these at Target. Got two of them here. Um, these were in the little one, three, five sex dollar section at the front of Target. Um, these were five dollars. They're just called wooden risers. You can use them for a chartreuse board, like a little mini chartreuse board. Put candles on it. I mean, a bunch of different. You can do a bunch of stuff with them. Um, just put little knickknacks. I don't know, random things on it. So, anyways, this is what we're gonna do. Um, I made this one yesterday using. Um, just epoxy and of course I used two micas which were from the um, December mica set box. So we used cobalt and coastal and then I used just white alcohol ink for the waves. Um, so I'm gonna do it different though today because I kind of want to make it a little lighter than this one. So now I'm trying to in, like debate mentally on doing little blue box with kingfisher or actually no flipping that. Ooh yeah. See, this is the problem I always have. Um, little blue box and macaw would be great together for like a more, what's the right word? Tropical beach. And then Kingfisher and pool boy together. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, the other thing too, I may mix some colors together to get a darker blue. But anyway, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take this board and make it look like this. So I'm gonna get the camera, flip down, and we're gonna get started on this video. So let's get the camera moved and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So like I told you guys a second ago, this is what we are going for here. Um, this is just, again, that $5 board I got from uh, Target. Um, the colors that I use in this are cobalt, which is this darker blue and then this lighter blue is coastal. And then I use just white Marbu alcohol ink to do the waves. So we're gonna show you guys how this is done. Um, I'm gonna put this aside and show you guys all of the things you need for this video, which is of course you're gonna need epoxy, some popsicle sticks. Um, I use these little medicine measuring cups to mix the epoxy in on the size well as the ink, which I don't need for micas but that's just what I grabbed to kind of look and I have my board and you will need a lovely heat gun which I've got right here and for all intensive purposes because sometimes I can make a bit of a mess I like to use this and this is just a metal tray like it's made of foil you guys know what these are they're little roasting pan things 
And um, I use these because sometimes the epoxy can go over the board or whatever. Um, and this way it doesn't make a huge mess on my table and it keeps everything contained in this lovely tray. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got this sitting on my little board here. It is not very level today. Hold on. There we go. All right. Got that on there now. So you want this to be as level as you possibly can get it. Um, if you really want to get exact science, you can, you know, get a level out and make sure everything is perfectly level. But we don't need to do that for this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use this little table. Use this as my little table for right now. Um, I'm going to use two micas and the white Marbu alcohol ink. So I take my epoxy and pour it into each of these little containers. And so I've got one for white. You don't need a whole bunch of the white. Eh, I may use a little more. And then one for each of the blues. I did mix too much epoxy for this project, but that's okay. Because I can use the epoxy for little sample molds or something on the side. So I'm going to put a little bit more of that. And then I do keep some of the clear to use as well if I need to add a little extra. So don't forget to shake up your white micas. Get it nice and shook up. And then just gonna go ahead and add it to my epoxy. Give it a little stir so it's nice and mixed in there. All right, so now my white is nice and mixed. Just set that over here to the side. And I'm still trying to figure out what blue to use. All right, I'm gonna use Macaw because it's a darker blue teal. It's actually one of my favorite ones. It's just a very pretty color. And I'm just using a popsicle stick to measure here. So honestly think that might be enough right there. Let's find out. Does it matter? It's all going on the board anyway. All right, so I just use one little scoop. So it's nice and now mixed. And that's a gorgeous teal blue. And it's not on my fingers too. So I've got that, which then now I kind of think, I think I'm gonna go with a little blue box. It's gonna give it more of a, what's the right word I'm looking for? <laughs> more of like a tropical beach. That's too teal. Ooh. All right, we're gonna play a little bit. So I'm gonna use little blue box. I'm gonna use like a little half right there of little blue box, which I know you're gonna be like, it's too thin, because it is. Yeah, because that's too, way too teal for what we're trying to do here. So what I'm gonna do is mix it with a little bit of macaw. So it's gonna make it darker. Fun fact, you can mix all of your micas together to make new colors. <clears throat> this way it's just not as teal. It's gonna be got a bit more blue to it. <clears throat> so. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. So this is going to be just a little bit lighter than that, but I want it to be a bit lighter. So I'm going to add a little white alcohol ink to it. Just going to soften the color up a bit more without changing anything really, but makes it just a hair lighter. So if you look at the two next to each other, you get a dark to a light. Okay. So we're going to get started. So we're using, again, Macaw, Little Blue Box, and then just a white alcohol ink. You can use deep white or any white. You can even use um, white mica, but I just, I like the way the ink will lay across the 
board when we use the uh, heat gun. All right, so we're using Little Blue Box and Macaw, and I mixed Little Blue Box in with Macaw, like a, probably equal parts, and then I added some white alcohol ink to it. So let's go ahead and get started. And I'm trying to get everything cleared out of the way. So I'm gonna use a glove for the first part here. I can get my hand in the glove. I'm gonna turn this a little bit so I have a bit better angle for myself. And we're gonna start with a macaw down here at the bottom. So I'm gonna go about two inches up the board here. And then we're gonna do the next one of another two and then it fans out when we use the heat gun. So I'll just set my popsicle stick off to the side and just drizzle this on the board. And I'm gonna have, there will be extra, which is what you want. And you can make this go over, like flow over the edges if you want to. Um, I try not to do that just because I, I like the board to be clean on the edges. Put more here. All right, so this is Macaw. Love that color, it's a very beautiful color. Very pretty, very pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the one of, T of um, Tiffany Teal mixed, or not Tiffany Teal, I'm so sorry y'all. Little Blue Box, which is mixed with Macaw and some white alcohol ink to just kind of lighten the color up. It's just a lighter teal blue now. And then you kind of want to smudge the line in between. It doesn't have to be perfect though. And it's okay if you mix the two colors in, it, it's gonna be just fine that way. All right, so I have these two colors now blended. So I told you guys, it goes up about four inches and we're gonna now add heat using the heat gun and make it spread further out. So I'm gonna take off my glove because I don't need that anymore. And plug in my heat gun. So I apologize now. I will turn the volume down so it's not quite so loud on this. But we're going to get started with the heat gun to heat the epoxy so it starts to flow a bit more towards the handle of the uh, wood board. All right, so as y'all saw, as I was heating the epoxy, you can see little ripples start to form, which is what you want to see. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, oops, actually, sorry. <laughs> just realized I forgot to do this part. Um, I'm gonna take some clear epoxy and just drizzle it right here at the front. And this is kind of more to resemble that, you know, when you go to the beach, there's that little bit where the sand is just wet and there's not really any water really like that you can visibly see. But then also whenever we, um, sorry, start to uh, add the white to it, this will help push the blue a bit more, which I just saw what I just did there. But that's okay, because now it's just got a nice little spot where the sand is just wet further up. Easy to fix, easy to cover. All right, so done that. Now we're gonna go in with our white alcohol ink and I don't trust myself drizzling like with the stick thing. So I just pour and I'm gonna start here and just go across 
And don't worry about the little spots that if you drip or anything, because it'll all flow together. So I've done that now, which I know you're like, that looks terrible. But that's what makes this fun. So I'm going to turn the heat on again. And when I do this, you're going to actually start to see that the epoxy will fan out and really blend in to start to look like waves. So as you can see now, it has fanned out. So it's got more of that sea foaming look. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few more. I'm actually going to, all right, we're going to do a little something different here. I'm going to add a little bit of a darker, another line of this kind of right here behind the white. And then I'm going to fan that in so y'all can see like what I'm kind of trying to do here. But um, basically it's going to kind of mix up the white and the blue a little bit more. Um, so we're going to keep going with this. All right. So now it kind of makes it more like a wave crashing over. So what I'm going to do now is go in back behind it. Again, with another straight white line and fan that one out. Okay, so I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go in now with the macaw behind it, and to kind of darken this up a little bit more towards the middle. And I actually just realized I dropped a piece of glitter in that. So I'm gonna use this exact little exacto knife here to pull that piece of glitter out because I don't want glitter in there. No, no glitter. Okay, so back in again with the macaw right behind this white line here. Okay, so we're starting to see now where it looks like it gives it depth because what's happening is it makes the water look like it's deeper. And I'm going to go over this with a white line. And then we're going to do the same thing again. All right, so see, you can see now it's got like the different levels of waves here. So I'm gonna go in right here at the back, the very, very back to add a little bit of white. I don't wanna do too, too much. Good. Give me one, there we go. And then do the last thing right there.
And so now we've got nice looking waves just crashing in. And the one thing that I want to tell you is the biggest and probably the most difficult thing is knowing when to stop adding. Uh, <laughs> because you can sit here all day long and keep adding more and more epoxy and making more lines. But with this, I'm not going to, I'm going to now just take the heat gun and push it just a little further up the board um, just to kind of thin this part out on the edge of the water line. I'm calling it water. I know it's epoxy, but uh, anyway, so we're going to do that and just fan it out and then pop any extra little air bubbles, which is great about the heat gun as it pops those and call it done. And there it is, a nice beach themed charcuterie board or just wooden plank that you keep out on your counter for candles or whatever, um, or you can put your mail on it. But now this is nice and finished. I didn't get any over the edges here. I wanna make sure I have a nice clean edge. It's okay though, if you do go over the edge. Um, on this one, I actually, sorry, this is kind of like, this takes up so much room here. On this one, I actually went in and covered the edges just because it had already spilt over and I was just like, well, might as well make it all look that way. Um, but it does end up leaving these little beads underneath. No big deal. This is just something nice to just set out. So that was, so there you go. That's one like what I would consider more of a lagoon look um, for a beach charcuterie board. But that's probably the quickest video tutorial I could ever give on a project. Um, so this will sit and cure overnight is what I'd recommend. And it should pretty much stay exactly looking like this. It'll still kind of mix up just a little bit more as it sits and cures. But otherwise that is complete and we are all done. So I'm gonna turn the camera back up and once this is finished, show it to you guys and get this video done and uploaded. So we'll be back soon once this is completely cured and get on with the next video. So be back in just a few. Okay, so our board now is completely cured and it turned out amazing. It gives you a really nice tropical beach feel of the waves coming up on the shore um, or like a lagoon vibe. It's very, it's just a very nice, calming and tropical warm feel. Um, this is what we did today. This was using Little Blue Box and Macaw, which again, it turned out great using also the white alcohol ink for the waves, for the beach foam. Um, the one I did yesterday was this awesome darker blue vibe. And I just, I, I personally like the darker blues. Um, but so this was using Cobalt and Coastal to do this board. Then um, I added, of course, a weird little I just did like a time lapse kind of thing of making a board, no talking or whatever. Anyways, y'all saw it just a minute ago. So this is that board. It's nice and cured. On this one, we did use cobalt and we used pool boy for the other lighter blue. And it turned out great. I like this one. It's just a nice serving tray. It can be used as a charcuterie board. This board is the one I got at Ikea like two or three years ago. Um, I think it was like two and a half years ago. But anyway, so it turned out great. Nice little serving tray. Love how it turned out. So this was just a fun, I mean, y'all saw the video was very quick. It only took about 20 minutes or so to do one board. Um, and of course that's doing these smaller size boards, but um, that's it. I mean, this is a great little something fun you can do for, I mean, you can do it on canvas to so hang it on your wall, um, but it's just something fun and different using the, al the alcohol inks and the micas. And I'm really excited with how they turned out. So, I mean, you got, you can get two completely different looks using different colors or however you want. And yeah, so it just turned out really great. I'm really happy with how this project went. Glad I finally did this since I've been wanting to do it for about a year now with these little boards. Um, so 
there's that. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial and um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up for the like and share it with your friends because this is a kind of a fun little project that anyone can really do. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't ever miss any of our videos. Um, I already have a video planned. Sorry guys, my nose is like also itching like crazy. I have a video planned for tomorrow. However, I have two different ones that I'm kind of debating which one I should do first. So my ADD is kind of taking over and I'm like, ooh, I could do this or I could do this one. And I know y'all can't see what I'm pointing to, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do epoxy and resin on canvas or if I want to do this really cool thing I got at Hobby Lobby a few, like six months ago that's again been just sitting here and I just found it again and I was like, oh, yay. So I don't know. There's so many different things that I could do. So we'll see what we can do tomorrow with crafting with COVID. Um, but this will be fun. And yeah, I'm really excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to see what we do tomorrow. And um, we will see you guys tomorrow with another video. So see you guys again soon. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you can always make sure to see all of our new ones. And we will get a new video up tomorrow. So I'll see you guys soon.